Hi guys, I'm coming back for round two. Okay, let's go. This is going to be part two of my Little Mermaid collection, showing you all of my Little Mermaid things. Part one is already up on my channel, but I decided to split this video into two parts because it's getting really, really long and I still have so much more Little Mermaid stuff to show you. So this is gonna be a two part video. Part one's already up, link in bio if you'd like to catch that, but I'm gonna get straight into part two because there's a lot I need to show you. So first of all, I wanted to show you this pair of shoes. Okay, so I actually made these shoes. Um, I saw them at Kmart and they're just these like scaly printed shoes. Like they had this scaly texture on them. And as soon as I saw them, I knew I needed to buy them, paint them with nail polish and turn them into aerial shoes. So that's exactly what I did. Um, I painted these with a green, like metallic emerald nail polish to kind of match Ariel's tail. And that's what they look like. Um, they're just from the brand Girl Express and I wear a size 8 shoe by the way. And then I also painted the back of the shoe to be um, this like mermaid sea colour. So um, I was running out of the green paint that I used on the side of the shoe. So I went underneath with a different colour um, and I really like this. It reminds me of the sea and it's also like a really shimmery beautiful shade. So yeah, they're not perfect but I'm really stoked with the way they came out. I should put a sealant on them though because they're a little... They're a little tacky. I've had these for ages, so they're like definitely dry and stuff, but the nail polish just like never fully like becomes matte when it's painted on this like kind of fabric. So I should get a sealant and like spray them um, if I'm going to wear them out. Otherwise, they'll probably get pretty dirty quickly, but um, I haven't worn them out yet because I painted these in quarantine, um, but I think they're really pretty and I can't wait to wear them. I just love the way they turned out and I like the bottom of them. Okay, because I put those up on my shelf next to um, this Little Mermaid book, this Little Mermaid book has a little mark on it, but this was a gift from my sister for my birthday, like two years ago, I wanna say, and it's Disney's The Little Mermaid Animated Classics. It has this little mark on the front, which is just from the nail polish of those shoes. Um, it got stuck on it, and then when I pulled it off, it just left this little nail polish mark. So I'm gonna have to do something to fix that up, but it says on the back, Relive the magic of Disney's The Little Mermaid through this retelling of the classic animated film, accompanied by paintings, story sketches, and some concept art from the original Disney Studio artists. Also features also featured is a foreword by Brittany Lee, a visual development artist at the Walt Disney Animation Studios. And it has this little artwork here. So yeah, I really love the design on the front of this book, and it was a really thoughtful gift from my sister, so thank you, Thurza. I love this. Um, I'll show you a little bit on the inside. It's just beautiful like this is obviously not the um style that they used for ariel in the movie but i think it looks beautiful and this book is so special to me um i'm like trying to open it really nicely because um i don't want to like, damage it but it's just a really beautiful book and i appreciate it so much but yeah thank you so much there's like you're a big brain great gift okay something else i wanted to show you guys is some clothing so first of all i wanted to show you the top that i'm wearing right now this is a disney spirit jersey and this is from the ariel's grotto coral shade so they have a couple of different shades of air um disney spirit jerseys that they come out with and they came out with a couple for disney princesses and ariel's color was um grotto coral if that makes sense so it's like coral based on like the coral reefs where she lives and so it has this beautiful d at the front which is like gold um no it's like orange but like with gold iridescent reflets um it also has like a green reflect iridescence through there um and then on the back it says disneyland i don't know if it's gonna come up yeah Disneyland on the back um, in that same kind of print um, I've watched this a bunch of times and the actual um, like print bubbly writing on it hasn't faded at all it's in like this ombre kind of really soft um, jersey material I can't remember what size I got in this wait let me check I don't remember um, the size I got did I get an extra small no, I just got a small. Okay, I got a size small in this top. Um, and it's really cute. It's kind of long. I'll show you. I'm just wearing some random sweatpants. So they are like a comfy outfit. But yeah, they're just like this long. Um, my crotch is here, if that makes sense. So it's like a little bit longer. Um, my butt's here, so it's like a little bit longer. It covers the bum. If you want to wear like shorts, it makes you look like you're not wearing shorts. Um, but it's just a really cute ombre coral jersey. And I love how bright this is. One time I was walking down the street wearing this and a guy told me I looked like a beautiful flamingo. So take with that what you will. Um, I really like this top because I like the colour and I like Ariel. Okay, let's go into some more random mermaid things. So this is my Anna Sui Fantasia Mermaid Perfume. And I bought this because of the packaging because it has a mermaid on it because I have a problem with mermaids where I just am obsessed with them. So I even kept the box because I thought the design of it was absolutely beautiful on the box. Just the artwork was so stunning. 
and um, it smells really nice as well. It's kind of like a fresh um, scent. Oh, it's like a fresh kind of, I want to say like a, I'm just going to spray it on my head. It's kind of like a, oh, it's like a fresh beachy, a little bit salty, a little bit floral, if that makes sense. I'm not a good um, scent describer, but that's how I describe the scent, um, floral. Um, fresh, salty, beachy, floral. Oh, it's so nice. And I just loved, most of all, the design of the bottle. The mermaid on the top is like saying hello to this little seahorse and her tail is so beautiful. She's so three-dimensional and beautiful. The actual coral coming down the sides of the bottle here with all the little patterns and designs looks beautiful. Um, the fragrance smells good. I love the, like, is it blue liquid? Yeah, I love the blue liquid in there. I just think it's absolutely stunning. It looks like a beautiful aqua sea and, um... I just love this bottle and this perfume so much. So yeah, that's my little mermaid perfume there. Um, let's go into some more dolls. I'd love to have more Ariel dolls than I already have, but I already have a couple, so I'll go through them. This is the Ariel Basic Playland doll from Disney Store, um, the 2020 release one. They've actually come out with a new one for 2021, which looks very similar to this one. The face up is almost totally identical and I can't really um, pick out any differences in the doll um, other than the fact that the packaging they make these days is now recyclable. So this is the old style packaging where they still kept the plastic front. These days the doll is in what I believe is a fully recyclable packaging which I really appreciate that upgrade. Unfortunately mine has plastic on it but it is what it is. This is the 2020 doll. I actually bought two of her so this is her in the 2020 doll um, design, face up, everything. Um, the head sculpt I think on this doll is absolutely stunning. I love her and her hair is beautiful quality, very long. It's got gel at the end, but um, I don't really mind about that. I have a full review of this doll up on my channel, a full unboxing and a full review of her accessory kit. So this accessory kit was the kit that came with the 2020 um, accessory pack for Ariel. Um, it came with a little, um, what's this called? A little baguette in a basket as well um but yeah you could buy either just the doll or you could buy the doll and also buy an accessory pack with it so i bought two dolls an accessory pack so one doll still lives in the box and one doll lives out of the box in the accessory pack um and i think she looks really cute i love the way it looks on her and yeah i have a full review up on my channel of this doll and her accessory pack if you'd like to check that out um and i just love her she's so beautiful she's got a little markings on her legs just because she does have um those rubbery bend and snap knees she does pick up dirt really quickly but it's easy to wash her as well like you can just wipe that off and it comes off pretty easily unless you've like stained it badly but like these aren't like big stains they're just like a little bit of makeup and I know that it'll come off um her face is so beautiful I just love this um face sculpt out of all the um Disney store dolls I think this is the best face sculpt I've ever seen for Ariel um I don't have any like um, I think their Hasbro does the dolls for Disney. I don't have any of the ones that you buy outside of the Disney store. I only have Disney store dolls just because I feel like they look better. So yeah, those are my 2020 Disney store Playline Ariels. Um, and I think she's beautiful. Now I actually have another Disney store Ariel. Sorry, I'm just putting those over on my bed. I have another Disney store Ariel, but she is not Playline. She is special edition. This is my 2020 holiday special edition Ariel and she is stunning. I also have a video up on my channel about her. She's absolutely perfect. Same um, face sculpt, but with a different paint job. Um, the only thing I have to say is they arrived with, um, she arrived with dodgy packaging. Like her packaging had been crushed in the mail a little bit, um, but the actual doll herself is absolutely stunning. I love her outfit. Um, 2020 holiday, this was the only doll I picked up. I was considering getting the holiday Barbie, but when I saw that they were coming out with the holiday Ariel, I didn't need Holiday Barbie anymore. I just went with Ariel and I think she's absolutely stunning. She lives in the box and she probably always will even though the box has been slightly damaged just because I think even the box is stunning. I wish it wasn't damaged but I'll cop it. This is the back. I have a full video up on this doll if you'd like to see more of her but yes she holds a special place in my heart and lives up on the top of my cupboard next to my Animators Edition Ariel who I showed you in my part one. So if you didn't see any of this stuff it's in part one of my um, Disney collection video. That scared me. What did I drop? Oh, it was my perfume. Okay, it's all right. It didn't break or anything. That terrified me. There's too much stuff. Oh, my chopsticks are falling. Okay, I need to go fix that and I'll come back showing you a different outfit. Okay, be back in a sec. Okay, this is an item of aerial clothing that I wanted for years and I finally bought last year. These are my Black Milk collaboration with Disney 
mermaid leggings these are the aerial leggings they came out with i think they're absolutely stunning they just look like this you can pull them up like higher waisted or pull them down and kind of have them like low waisted as well if you want um they're in the mermaid emerald color so i believe they call it memorald and they're just mermaid print scales all the way around in the beautiful emerald green emerald green is one of my favorite colors i feel like it works well with like my skin tone and my hair color and stuff i just really love emeralds um and yeah these are my mermaid leggings and they just make your legs look like mermaid legs they're full length leggings and oh they're just so beautiful they also make your legs look really good because they're like totally shiny the whole way and these i bought on um depop because i missed out on the original collection and they're my pride and joy i wish they also came out with like a skirt a skater skirt a tight fitted skirt in the same emerald um mermaid print because this is my favorite mermaid print black milk has ever come out with they have other colors of mermaid scale items but i prefer the emerald green because it's like aerial whereas the other ones they're a little bit more blue or they have like a pink mermaid scale but i like the emerald the most um so i wish they came out with like a skirt um shorts everything in this print of this color because it's my favorite um but maybe one day i'll buy some like of this fabric um, and like make some of that myself. But yeah, for now I just have the leggings, which is the key piece anyway. And I think these are amazing. I love them. These with my shoes are going to be a killer combo one day. Anyway, um, going into some more toys, fun stuff. Uh, this is one of my pride and joy prized possessions. She lives in a Pereiro share box full of tissue paper to keep her safe because she's very valuable. Um, to my soul. She's probably not like that expensive, but she's very sentimental to me. So she's wrapped up in tissue paper. This is my porcelain. I just dropped the top of the Ferrero share box and I was scared that I dropped her, but I hadn't. The box was like, anyway, this, oh my gosh, this is scaring me. This is my porcelain Ariel doll. And this was a gift from my dad when I was a kid. I was obsessed with her. I took her everywhere with me. Her hair is so matted now that I'm touching it, but she has the most beautiful face up like it's really well done um and she's just got the most delicate um porcelain features one time i let my sister hold her and my sister dropped her and i screamed murder because her arm broke i'm not sure if it'll come up on camera but her arm broke previously here and i remember because there's a chip in her shoulder you can see where um she was glued back together and one chip um never like was fitted back whereas the rest of her arm fitted back together luckily she wasn't broken really badly because her arm fitted straight back onto um, her elbow where it broke but one chip is missing and so i always like remember that one chip but my dad did a really excellent job of gluing her back together because i would have screamed my head off um i think she's absolutely stunning she has movable arms so they rotate here her head moves Oh, she like scared me. Actually, her head doesn't move. Oh my goodness. Fake memory. I thought her head moved when I was a kid. Um, maybe I just believed she was alive. Um, and then her tail has like a wire through it. So her tail moves a little bit. And then her little tails here, the fins actually have wires through them. So you can arrange these how you feel um, and make them like splayed out a bit more. But um, she lives in the box because she's, I like, I value her too much. I don't want her to be broken ever again. She's too special to me. So she lives inside this Ferrero share box. And I just love her. I love her so much. She came as part of like, Disney did like a porcelain magazine collection so you collect the dolls um and with each magazine there was a different um disney doll you can still buy these i saw some on like um facebook marketplace and like ebay and like one time i even saw more of these dolls in person at like comic con but i didn't purchase any because i have the one that i want i only really want ariel anyway like having pocahontas would be cool um but ariel's my fave so this is what they came with it was like a magazine series and um it was called what was it called the world of Disney princesses in porcelain. So this is Ariel's book and um, it's just like a magazine um, with like comics about Ariel and stuff um, and like little Ariel stories in here. Your collector's Ariel. So I have the whole magazine and everything still um, and I keep it in a folder because it's really important to me. And yeah, I remember studying this little magazine when I was a kid um, and I keep it because it's so sentimental. She was number two in the series. Number three was Cinderella. Obviously, I didn't get Cinderella because Ariel's where it's at for me. But um, yeah, I love this. And this like color of purple at one stage was my favorite color. It was 
to me, Disney Princess Purple is the best shade of purple because it's just, it's just so iconic to me. But yeah, this is Ariel on the front. I really love the way Ariel looks. Like her green tail is so perfect. The purple shells, love, red hair, so iconic. I just, nothing can go wrong. Ariel is just so perfect. Another Disney Little Mermaid magazine I have is this one. I have no idea where I got this from. Literally no idea. I could have thrifted it, I could have been gifted it, um, but the front page has come off completely. This front page is so nostalgic to me. Like this is stunning. I don't know what year this came out, but um, yeah, it's got pounds on it though. So anyway, inside it has like little comics about um, Ariel's adventures. It's kind of based on the TV series G just opening this is so nostalgic but yeah it's based on the TV series um, that Ariel um, had like about the Little Mermaid um, you can watch the TV series on Disney Plus I totally recommend um, and then I remember making this little game on the back or whatever are their pages missing I'm not sure but um yeah even all these pictures are like so nostalgic to me I had so much fun with this book when I was a kid and I keep it with this other little Ariel booklet as like memories because that was a wonderful time um best childhood ever was thanks to ariel um i'm trying to look around and see if there's anything else i forgot okay i have some more clothes to show you so these shorts that i'm wearing right now are from um peter alexander's collection so i'm like hopping up on my chair this is from peter alexander's collection they did with disney and these are some under the sea little mermaid shorts so they don't actually have ariel herself on them but they have all the undersea um creatures there's um flounder and sebastian and a bunch of other iconic fishies um and they're just like an elasticated waistband um little pair of shorts there um i also have some other clothes that i'll show you that i won't try on um, I have this set of like sleepwear pajamas from um, Target. So I used to actually work at Target and Target one time had a collaboration with Disney or like Disney princesses. And so they came out with um, aerial clothing and I wish I'd bought more, but um, it released like and was all sold out really quickly. This is super old now, but I have this little like camisole top that I used to wear um, loads. It's just a little aerial printed cami top. It has a lace top there um, and little bows on the sides. It's so cute. The elastic's starting to get really worn because I've worn this so much. Um, and it's just like a little aerial top. Oh my gosh, that's really sweet. I should bring this out and wear it more. It's not like the most wearable thing though, so that's why I haven't. I wear it more to sleep. And then I have these sleep shorts which are quite stained because I've worn them so much, but they just have um, that aerial print all over them. They also had like a sleep shirt and like, I also had the undies for these. I don't know if I still have the undies because I might have worn them out, but um, yeah, they were like undies and there was a sleep dress, like a sleep t-shirt and shorts. These are the shorts that came with the t-shirt, but um, I unfortunately missed out on the t-shirt and the sleep shirt. I wish I didn't, but um, they were all sold out. I was in high school at the time, so it was like, I wasn't as able to like just go shopping. I had to go to school and stuff. So my dad actually picked this up for me. Thank you, dad. He had to hunt these down, I remember, because I think they sold out really quickly, but love these so much. And then this is an outfit that I have from my childhood. This is the only um, outfit I still have from when I was a kid um, that I've kept for like sentimental reasons. I literally never wear this, but this was my favorite outfit when I was a kid. I've shown it to you guys before. This is my aerial um, set from my best friend Maddie. Thank you Maddie for this outfit. I literally still have it. I never wear it, but it's so sentimental. And this was my favorite outfit because if you know me, my favorite color is yellow. And so it's like a little yellow tank top with my favorite aerials on the front. And I felt so cute when I was wearing this. There's really cute little flowers all over. It says aerial on the bottom. There's my fave. Oh my goodness. And as you can tell, it's super crinkly because it's literally from like when I was a child. I don't even know what size this is. It's a size nine. No, it's a size six. So it must have been like literally in kindergarten or something when I was wearing this and then it came with a matching little skirt this skirt is tiny like it is small um and it has these flowers all over and this was my favorite outfit no one could tell me that I looked bad if I was wearing this outfit because it was this was the hottest fit ever I felt a million bucks when I was six years old and wearing this love this outfit and um I still keep it because it's really cute and it reminds me of like being so cute at six years old um, I'm looking around if there's anything else I've forgotten to show you. Oh, here's something random. This is some masking tape I bought recently from Daiso. So Daiso really randomly has Disney stuff and I really, really want to like stalk down all the aerial stuff they have. So this I got from Daiso and it's just some aerial masking tape. So it's purple and it has little um, aerial pictures all the way around. It's not really going to focus, but um, it's just 
it's just pictures of Ariel. You know what she looks like by now. There's a billion of her behind me. But yeah, cute little masking tape. I don't know if I'll ever gather the courage to open it up because I just want to like keep it cute. Um, or maybe I'll use it very sparingly on special items only. Or maybe I'll have to go to a thousand Daisos and hunt down so I can always use Ariel masking tape. Who knows? But yeah, this is little masking tape or like you could call it washi tape with Ariel all over it. Um, and then I think this is the last thing I have to show you guys. I thought I'd end it with a bang. These are my Little Mermaid movies. I bought these when I was in Taiwan. I had Little Mermaid 1, Little Mermaid 2, and Little Mermaid 3. So I'll take you through each one. This is the original, Little Mermaid 1, and it's in Taiwanese... Oh, well, I bought this in Taiwan, which is probably just Mandarin packaging. I don't know. I can't read Mandarin, so this could be simplified Mandarin or, like traditional but anyway it says Little Mermaid um, and this was platinum edition because for some particular reason it was platinum edition that year oh no I'm wrong diamond edition so yeah this um, just has a little slip off case and then inside it's all in English so yeah it just is like this it has some bonus features it has a Jodie Benson's um, voyage new to fantasy land has some deleted scenes so it has the fathoms below alternate ending a fight with Ursula alternate ending um, so yeah, it just has this really like beautiful diamond edition CD. Oh, how fancy. Um, it's got a bit of like a holographicness there. Um, and yeah, that's my Little Mermaid 1 DVD. I also have Little Mermaid 2. So obviously the Little Mermaid 1 is like the classic. She's superior. Little Mermaid 2, I liked the storyline, um, but I didn't like the animation as much. I don't know, something about everyone's eyebrows kind of put me off, but this is what the front of the packaging looks like. That's what the back, and then this is what the actual like disc box looks like in English. It says Return to the Sea, Little Mermaid 2, and this is what the back looks like. Pretty similar animation. Anyway, I'll show you the inside because I think it's really cute that the little discs have like the mermaid pictures on them. Um, but there is Melody, which is the little mermaid's daughter. That's Ariel's daughter. Um, I actually wish I had like all the things from the movies because I don't. So like I wish I had the necklace that Ursula has Ariel's voice in from the original Little Mermaid. I think that'd be cool. And I wish I had like Melody's locket from the Little Mermaid 2. Sorry, my phone died and now it's a lip gloss break. Okay, this lip gloss, by the way, is Honey, I'm Home from Dose of Colors such a beautiful warm toned neutral shade anyway yeah the other thing I would like of course is the music box from the Little Mermaid 3 out of all the sequels out of like two and three I actually prefer three so this is the front of the box for three I love the artwork in three I just think they did a better job of animating three the eyebrows didn't annoy me um, and this is the front of the Little Mermaid 3 and the back um, the songs in the Little Mermaid 3 are really good in my opinion um but yeah this is what the cute little disc looks like ariel's beginning and this one actually came with a bunch of random stuff i can't read mandarin again so i don't really know what the sticker says but it has a peel off little thing that says like little mermaid 3 on it i can't read though so i have no idea what it is and then i believe these are like bookmarks i think these are all the different characters and like information from um tinkerbell so there's tinkerbell's one um and on the back, there's like a couple in here. And I think all the fairies have their own. I actually never opened this. Um, let's do that now and see what they are. Because I actually haven't had an investigate before. So there's Tinkerbell. And on the back, there's information about Tinkerbell and Mandarin that I can't read. Um, I actually don't know all the names of Tinkerbell's friends by heart. Um, but yeah, there's four of them here. Actually, there's five. There's another one. So yeah, there are five different fairies and on the back of each of their cards, there's like information about each of them. Um, I'm assuming it's like their bio or whatever. Um, but yeah, those live in there as well as like this pamphlet that I can't read. Um, and yeah, just a bunch of like little papers. Um, I don't know what it says. Something about Tokyo Resort. Oh, I really wish I could go to Disneyland. All I want is to go to Disneyland. Oh, and here's a flounder origami so it is like a printed piece of origami paper i can't believe i never used this well i'm i'm not gonna fold it now now i just want to keep it fresh um but it folds into like flounder and there's step by step on the side of how to fold yourself an origami flounder that's so cool that they included that um i can't believe i never opened up this little dvd before i'm just gonna leave that there so i can like put it away nicely in a sec um 
But yeah, those are all the Little Mermaid things that I have to show you guys today. I'm going to now talk about things that I wish I had so that I can manifest them into existence. So of course, last year I was going to go to America so I could go to California's Disneyland, the original Disneyland. Um, that's my dream to see Ariel there and go on the Little Mermaid ride there. Um, Ariel's um, like the California Adventure ride there. Um, but unfortunately due to COVID I couldn't go so manifesting that trip one day in the future. Also there's an island here in Australia called um, Dream Island which has three mermaid statues and I've always wanted to go to the Great Barrier Reef and visit Dream Island it's my dream and so I'd like to visit the mermaids on Dream Island one day. It's literally, I'm looking over here because it's on my mood board. Um, not mood board, it's on my like dream board. I'm trying to manifest it. Um, some other Little Mermaid things I'm trying to manifest is a collaboration with um, Besame Cosmetics. Besame Cosmetics is my dream aerial collab because they do such a good job and such a high quality job of all their cosmetics and I just think they're going to absolutely kill it, do a really detailed um, job keeping to the theme of the Little Mermaid and her story and her like theming and stuff. They always do such a good job like with their recent Marilyn Monroe collection and with previous Disney princesses collections they've done. Um, they've done a really good job especially the handheld mirror. I really want a Little Mermaid handheld mirror. I think that'd be really magical. So yeah I'm manifesting a Besame Cosmetics Little Mermaid collab oh, and a MAC Cosmetics one. That would be pretty good. Recently they came out with a Makeup Revolution collab but I haven't seen it in Australia yet so I don't know how I'm gonna get my hands on it but hopefully I can get that. But yeah I I'd love more aerial makeup because there's never enough for me. Um, aerial outfits that I like. Ultimately, I'd love to be at a place in life where I can afford to save up and have enough money for play that I can afford a full mermaid tail. Like that's pretty much the ultimate dream. Other than like actually being a real life mermaid, that's about as close as you can get in my opinion, is owning one of those like really expensive full mermaid tails that's made of like one of those really high grade quality, I think they do it out of silicone or latex, I can't remember, but the really high quality expensive ones, you know what I'm talking about. That is the dream. Um, but yeah, those are my mermaid dreams. There are probably many more that I'm not thinking of at the moment. Um, but anything aerial, tag me in it if you see it because I'm always down to see. I love mermaids. They're my favorite ever since I was a child. Um, mermaids were my favorite thing ever um, and I've always been obsessed with them. There isn't really another area of my life where I am so obsessed with something. Like for example, obviously I'm really into cheer. Cheer is like something I spend like a lot of time doing, but I don't every time I see something cheer related be like, yes, I need to get that. But with Ariel, almost every time I'm like, oh, I wish I had that. There's one more thing I forgot to show you guys because I didn't even think to show you guys. But I'll show you her in a second. Um, there's something hanging on my wall that I forgot to show you guys. Oh my goodness. Ariel is like everywhere in my life. So I'm probably forgetting something else as well. But I'll show you what's on my wall as like a final thing. But yeah, there's, there's no limit on like how much Ariel um, I would have because I just love her so much. She's such a special character to me. And I just love mermaids. If I could be a mermaid, I would because I just think they're incredible. I love a the concept. They're just so magical. And um, if Ariel wasn't um, a Disney princess, like I wouldn't really be as keen on Disney princesses, I don't think. I only like her because she's a mermaid Disney princess. I just like mermaids. If she didn't exist, I'd just buy other mermaid stuff instead. It's just great that she's an accessible mermaid. Um, I wish they made more Ursula stuff as well, like more Vanessa as Ursula. I would really like a um, doll that was of Vanessa, like that would be my dream as well, to get like a Playline doll um, that had the same like or similar face sculpt as my um, Playline Ariel, but of um, Vanessa, that'd be really cool. Anyway, I'm going to show you what's on my wall and close this out because it's getting really long again and I'm just ranting about how much I love Ariel, which I could do forever. So I'll show you and then we'll go. Actually, my dream would to be having a full set of Ariel as a mermaid with all her sisters as mermaids too, like all of them. Um, she has six sisters um, and I think it'd be really cool if all the sisters were made as like Playland dolls in their um, tails, like same as Ariel is, like all matching. I think that'd be really cool. Um, I just love to see more side characters that weren't just like Flounder and Sebastian all the, si all the time. And then if um, Ariel came in like her kiss the girl dress the way um, that she does there looking exactly matching in a set with Ursula in her um like human dress I think those two would be a cool duo too so like human of those two and then mermaid of all the sisters and Ariel oh, that is the dream Disney I know you're watching 
make it, make it. We'd all love it. All us Ariel fans. I know all the other Ariel fans want it too. It's, it's what we've always wanted. My mermaid obsession is not just limited to Ariel. I love anything mermaid in general, especially this Gucci mermaid collection they did a while ago. I love all the pieces in this collection and I wish it was still as accessible. I'm also hoping and praying that when Ariel's live action movie comes out that they make all of that stuff that I was talking about because um, they always make a lot of live action um, merch and um, I'm hoping also for a live action Little Mermaid Disney key. When the live action comes out, often they make like a Disney key, they make a whole like, um, range of merch for the new live action and a Disney key and like a bunch of aerial stuff would be amazing praying for it don't know what they're gonna do or when the live actions definitely gonna come out due to COVID but like oh, I'm rooting for it this is up here on my wall over here I have a poster and then I had another poster here but it fell down so that's why you can see the blue tack but up here is Myrtle she's a porcelain mermaid that lives on my wall she kind of is like my guardian angel but I have a guardian mermaid because of obvious reasons and she watches over me um she's absolutely beautiful um she has two braids in her hair but I took one of the braids out that's why it's all frizzy behind her um I took that out when I was a kid the other braid is still in um and she's just absolutely stunning she's really beautiful in my opinion and her name is Myrtle because hanging off her tail there it says that her name is Myrtle so that is her she's absolutely stunning this is like not very close up maybe I should like go up close to her it's kind of hard because she's so high up but yeah she's just really beautiful and I love her. She was a gift from my parents when I was a child and I've always had her hanging above in my room in like a corner watching over me and um, she takes care of me. Love you Myrtle. But yeah, that's all for this video. If you liked it, please give it a big thumbs up. Comment anything you'd like to see from me down below. Um, tell me something about mermaids. If you see anything mermaid, tag me. I'm obsessed. I can never get enough. You know the vibes um, and I'll catch you next time. Bye.